I, yeah, I couldn't do it. I was supposed to do it with Cher. Uh, never, I, I wanted to do it too, but I, I, I was busy. It would have been great. You would have killed. Oh my God, it's almost eight o'clock. It's gonna take a spin. Eleanor has a spot. Eleanor, I was. Oh, can you tell the sly story for your role that oh, you told at the okay. store last night? So, um, so that's Stallone. So it, you know Stallone, right? Didn't he introduce himself to you? Hmm. Sylvester Stallone? Rocky. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What did he say? My name's Sly. <laughs> that was a, uh, in, um, we were up in um, Montreal. Mm -hmm. He comes up to me. He says, uh, Dom, hi, I'm, 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 I'm Sly. <laughs> and all, I'm in the back of my head going, dun, 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 He's telling me who he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, thanks. What is this? Sly? What is it again? <laughs> Meanwhile, Sl he was just Sylvester excited Sloan? to meet you, right? He was excited to meet you. Dom right. is his favorite comic, yeah. right? And then he just had his 70th birthday. And, well, not just. What was that? Two, how long ago was that, Sam? Like two, two years ago. Two years, maybe? And he had he came to the Laugh Factory with his daughters to see Dom. Oh, right. so I did? Cool. Yeah. Dope. Right? Yeah. It was a big deal. It was very exciting. But so when, um, and I, I don't know if you remember this, of course, but when I got engaged to Andrew, we're not gonna bring up all my ex-fiances. We know I make a lot of mistakes, but this one. How about the one I watched uh, Andy Griffith with? <laughs> Ronnie. Ronnie. <laughs> you said, don't bother him, don't talk to him. And then the next thing you see is him, two of us. Uh, yeah, I can't find him. I wake up, we're in La Jolla. I go, don't bother the headliner. Don't fucking talk to the headliner. And they're out there watching Andy Griffith like two idiots. <laughs> He's funny, Barney's funny, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway so so uh, me and Andrew had a big fight we broke up and I was going to move back east and I paid I had an apartment everything I paid first last everything and so I was leaving I was leaving the store I gave my two weeks notice and I was at on my last week at the store midweek and I was waiting tables in the belly room and I bring all the drinks out. I come down in the kitchen, and Andrew's standing in the kitchen. And I hadn't seen him in like six weeks. We hadn't spoken, nothing. So I just, it's over for me. I'm moving, I'm leaving. And he looks at me, and he, he like apologetically kind of looks at me, and he basically asked me to marry him in the kitchen of the comedy store. And I just looked at him, and I went, I have to bring this corona to the belly room because I was so mad and I just you know I have anger issues and people don't realize no. <laughs> so I bring into the belly room I collect all the money and I'm kind of hiding up there but I collect all the money I come down and then now I'm like seething and I and he's in the parking lot and I go out and I'm like how dare you come here so we get into this big fight long story short he's like uh, uh, he wanted to go to Vegas and I go no and then he's like all right let's meet tomorrow i go i gotta finish my shift and he goes let's have lunch tomorrow so i go okay i meet him in beverly hills i agree to this lunch i go to beverly hills and he's like i invited somebody to the table so he'll be here in a couple minutes and Minister? it was sylvester stallone really he was at, he just randomly was at, and andrew knows him a long time so he comes over and i'm thinking you're waiting for me to answer you if I want to marry you or not, and you bring the love of my life <laughs> to the table. Are you crazy? And I remember just sitting there like, hi. So Paradise Alley, how was that? Like, <laughs> I mean, I went way back. I was asking like every question you could think of. It was, I was so, and Andrew was just like, the fuck am I doing? Did, <laughs> like, did Dice's move work? <laughs> no, yes, I guess I did say yes, but eventually I did say yes. <laughs> And we went to Vegas, and then I moved in with them, and then that was it. I was <laughs> just kidding. Couldn't but, get along. What? Couldn't get along. We could. We just. I don't know. I think we're just better friends. You know when people are yeah. just better friends, and so, and I adore his kids, and yeah, and, and you know, getting to help raise them was like amazing. And him and I, I mean, we didn't fight. We didn't have crazy fight fights like. I have my anger issues, so I get weird, I shut down, or I just leave, because I don't want them to see me lose it, <laughs> which is not a good thing. But um, he one time he saw me flip out, and then he was like, 
One time, one time I saw what, like throw shit, break shit. It, it, Are you the type that like it, breaks a car window? No, I'll hit you. But <laughs> I, I uh, so it, uh, you know when you can't control, <laughs> and Andrew will tell this. If I you don't ever, know that. If That's... you ever get him on, he will tell this story because we've joked about it a million times. But we're, it, I mean, it, our relationship's dwindling, right? I lost my best friend. Freddie Soto, right? So there's a lot of stuff going on. Then my grandma, it was just it was just a fucked up time for me too. So I think that also kind of ruined it. But I couldn't figure out how to place the anger without this. So I started jumping up and down. <laughs> Up and what down. does that do? Don't know. But he was watching me like an exorcism and he was just like, What the fuck? Like It's so a little I, scary. So that broke us up completely. <laughs> I want to hear Dice's side of the story. You should. The jumping up and down is very funny. Um, what do you think? Dice next guest? I don't think so. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Why not? I'll do it. That would be fun, Don. I, we kept hearing he'll do it. It's like three years now. It what? He always says he's going to do it. I don't, I don't oh, know. he says he'll do it? Well, I'll just have to, because he's always in New York and he's in his apartment. He loves talking shit. And he loves you. How about we'll when Dom's in Philly in two weeks? We'll make um, it happen. So is she. Yeah, yeah, but well, you just you... do it online. He likes that better. Yeah. yeah. He does meetings That'd like that. He does them at home like that. That would be fun. Yeah. He, but you got to ask him about the jumping up and down. He, <laughs> uh, it does bother him. <laughs> what time's your spot? Oh, I'm in trouble. Yeah, because yeah, I got to go get changed. I'm you gotta go uh, see you guys at Soul Joel's. Soul Joel's. That's going to be a lot of fun. Thanksgiving yeah. Eve, Dom. Thanks for having me on your show. <laughs> That's our show. Thank you. Let it be. Let it be. Yo, Dom, over here. Hey, Dom, hey. Yo, Dom.